Fantastic have a criminal past? Is Kristen Stewart going to write an apology to Rupert Sanders' wife? And is Holly Madison adopting? Hey guys, it's Chloe here with all the juicy bits the entertainment world is buzzing about today. Kourtney Kardashian is not going to want to hear this. Star Magazine is claiming that the Keeping Up with the Kardashian star's baby daddy Scott Disick has quite the criminal past. A former friend of Scott's claims that he used to tell girls that he was a stockbroker, then bring them back to his parents' house in the Hamptons and steal their phones, wallets, and jewelry. We will see what Courtney has to say about that. Kristen Stewart feels so bad about cheating with Rupert Sanders that she is reportedly going to write a letter of apology to his wife, Liberty Ross. All right, so Kristen reportedly didn't want to include the 41-year-old's wife in her public apology because she felt like the decent thing to do was to write Liberty a private letter. So she wants to express her deepest regret for her actions, and she's thinking about including Liberty, Rupert, and the kids in the letter. But Kristen's desperate to save her relationship with Rob, and that's why she decided to concentrate on him in the public apology. Hugh Hefner's former number one girlfriend, Holly Madison, cannot wait to start a family, and she's even started working with an agency called Hold My Hand to help her with the long and sometimes difficult process of adopting a baby. She tells In Touch that, quote, I've begun the adoption process. Holly has wanted to be a mom for a while, but her crazy show schedule has held her up. She says, quote, I love performing in the theater, and you can't really do that when you're pregnant. All right, so the child will most likely come from Africa or South Korea. These are just a few of the juiciest bits from today. And see these arrows? Click on them for the next or previous story from ENTV. And for all things Hollywood, log on to HollywoodLife.com. And don't forget to subscribe to ENTV for all your entertainment news first.